Hello, my name is Charles Delastic. I'm the Managing Director of Blue Bond Tax Planning. I've been helping clients avoid inheritance tax as an IHT specialist for more than 18 years. And today's video is around deeds of variation and where they can help people. So quite often you get people die, unfortunately, in test aid where they haven't even done a will. Sometimes the will and the way the assets are being distributed doesn't suit um, the beneficiaries, the children, the spouse, etc. There are also some quite significant inheritance tax savings to be utilised um, by utilising a, a late person's um, allowances if they are married when they die. Um, so there's a number of significant advantages to doing a deed of variation and this video is all around what those are and how you can utilise them. Okay, so today's video is around deeds of variation, where they can be used, how they can be used, and what the benefits are. So a deed of variation is altering a person's will. Now, if a person dies in test state, interestingly, you can still vary that, that will, because even though there isn't a will, and then you can allocate assets in the way that you need to do it. However, it has to be done within two years of the person's death. Of the deed of variation it has to be done and in place before the end of two years after somebody's died. Right now, more often than not, it's utilised for tax planning when people die with relatively large estates, which is when we tend to get involved. And providing it's done in two, within the two years and all the beneficiaries of that person's will agree. Now, if you've got young um, children who are under 18, then you can't vary their portion of the will because they can't agree to it because they're under 18, right? However, you can vary the portion of anybody else's will. So let's say that you've got three children who inherit assets from their, from their late mother and their father's already died and they want to change the will slightly because one of them doesn't need the money or whatever the reason they want to do it or one person wants to put their monies into trust for their own children but the, their, their siblings don't want to do that. So you can vary the will just for your benefit is the point and therefore it's effective even in terms of tax planning in that regime. We've um, married couples where it's the first person to die. We quite often get involved in the deed of variation and that allows the first person to die's allowance, uh, the nil rate band allowance to be placed into a trust. And usually that's a part of their main residence that protects the, the money for the long term. But also if we're using a part of the main residence, then it's likely that a property will grow faster than the allowance would increase. The allowance already been frozen for almost 10 years now, and it still continues to be frozen until 2026, and who knows what's gonna happen in 2026. So by placing 325,000 pounds of a property value into a trust, you effectively save about 4,500 pounds a year in inheritance tax. There is an additional benefit that the, the surviving spouse, the house is worth, let's say a million, in their estate, you get a further 10% reduction in the value of the property for inheritance tax. So this is um, not an inheritance tax rule, it's more of an accounting principle where an asset is owned by two separate legal entities, the trust on the one hand and the surviving spouse on the other. When the surviving spouse dies, if a million pound property is reduced by 10%, that's 100,000. 40% of that is 40,000 potentially saved in inheritance tax. So deeds of variation, very useful if you've not thought of these types of planning before and a person has died within the last couple of years and we need to act on that quite quickly. Always worth looking at to see what benefits are available to you by doing a deed of variation. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and a like as it really does help the channel. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed it more than that. And thanks for listening 
and goodbye for now. Bye.